27.7 million registered South Africans. Please come out in your big numbers uh, to ensure that uh, we can start afresh. Uh, we've had we really uh, 30 years wasted. Really incredible uh, what happened in the last 30 years. But let's not give up on our country. We can start afresh. Um, your vote can really make that difference that we can really start a new chapter for our children. If you don't vote, one thing that you must understand, there will be government whether you vote or not. And if you don't vote, you're going to end up being governed by criminals. You're going to be governed by corrupt officials. So one day you might end up actually being under a dictator, under a military dictator. So those are things that we've got to really avoid. More especially the, the, those that are suffering. I find it difficult when someone is unemployed, someone is destitute, and he says, um, I'm powerless. When on a day like this, uh, you can have a president with billions uh, um, in the bank uh, and uh, millions under mattresses. Your vote and uh, that president's vote, it, it actually carries the same weight. So this is the time and opportunity for us as South Africans actually to determine the kind of uh, South Africa and, and the leadership we want. The future of the country has been decided. <laughs> I don't think we're going to solve the problems of South Africa by keeping the same people around the same table, making the same bad decisions with the same bad results for South Africa. And I think this morning you've got a great juxtaposition. Just before me, Sabuin de Bele, the former Premier of this province, came to vote. This is a man who's facing corruption and maladministration charges from his time as the transport minister in this country. Uh, he is still you know, obviously I want to see justice in this case and to see him charged properly. But isn't that an incredible juxtaposition that he is quite proudly able to come and don an ANC t-shirt and vote in front of the cameras, despite the fact that he joins 97 other of his comrades and colleagues who have been found by the Zondo Commission to have been involved in alleged corruption, maladministration and, uh, and jobs for pals that have crippled our country. So I don't think keeping those people around the cabinet table is going to solve the problems facing South Africa, which is why I fundamentally believe that residents in this election need to vote for change and they need to vote for a clean, accountable government and that can only come through the multi-party charter and its allies. We're very confident. I think we've seen a changing dynamics here on the ground in Paisley and that's made the ground fertile for a lot of different things, whether it's change in government, whether it's a change in voter sentiment. So we're, we're confident. We've never been stronger on the ground. We've never been stronger in the polls in this province. Uh, and that's, that's exciting for us as the DA here. Christopher, uh, in terms of if the DA wins the province, what are the very first things that needs to be addressed in this province? So the first thing is that a senior management level in this province, we have to have capable and, and ethical uh, administrators. We can't have people who have been doing the wrong thing for years and years and years and expect them to still be there and, and change. 1994, we were voting to get rid of an apartheid regime uh, apartheid, a system that was uh, declared a crime against humanity. For over 350 years, we've been oppressed. Uh, today, we, 30 years later, we are voting uh, to, um, to judge an independent, I mean, democratically elected government. So yes, the height might be the same, but it, it can't be compared at all. Um, Today we are all equal, today is the day when the people will be speaking and after they've spoken uh, we must respect the outcome. Um, I certainly feel that today we are all equal, our vote count uh, the, the same and I put my faith in, in, in the voters in South Africa that they will decide by choice what is best for them.